I would like to call the meeting of the St. Louis County Board of Zoning Adjustment to order. The board members present today are Angelia Bills Chair and Justin Randall Vice Chair. The Department of Planning staff members are Mel Wilson, Debbie Nesbitt, Peter, Peter Grind, Ashwa Wickamathalaka, and Gretchen Arnold. Also on the call today is John Burper from the County Counselor's Office. First, I'd like to offer into the record the affidavit of publication pertaining to today's meeting, November 2nd, 2022. The board hereby takes official notice of and admits into, into evidence on the record the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance Chapter 1003, St. Louis County Revised Ordinance 1974 as amended, and Chapter 1004, St. Louis County Revised Ordinance 1974 as amended. Next, I would like to call for a motion to approve the minutes of the previous BZA meeting of October 19, 2022. Is there a second? I'll move. Oh, I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. This meeting is conducted as a teleconference and is recorded. The planning staff will read each request into the record and present technical advice to the board if needed. The petitioner will be unmuted, state their name, and make a brief presentation to the board explaining the reason and hardship for the request of variance. The board will not consider financial hardships. Board members may ask questions to clarify the facts. When the board is satisfied with the material presented, the, chairs, the chairperson will then ask if there is anyone in favor or opposition to the request. To do so, click the hand next to your name. If any comments were submitted, staff will also read them into the record. Before a call for the vote, the petitioner may request a continuance in order to bring in additional documentation. The board may also request a continuance to gather additional information or for a visit to the site. Once comments have been heard, the chairperson will call for a vote. At that time, the discussion is ended. No further discuss discussion is permitted. The board will generally make a decision today. Since there are only two members at this time, if the board's vote is split one to one, the request will be deemed denied. If a, if a variance is approved, the petitioner has six months to obtain the necessary permits or establish the use requested or the variance will expire. The petitioner or any interested party has the right of appeal to the St. Louis County Circuit Court. This must be done within 30 days of the decision. Paperwork indicating the board's decision will be mailed to the petitioners. All right, so the first petitioner I'm seeing is not on the call. So I'm not sure if you guys would like to try to push that to the end. Yes. Thank you. Okay. All right. Moving on to 91 22 HRP properties, LLC Michael Marin is requesting an exception to the side yard regulations for the purpose of constructing a deck and stairs in 9707 Perrin Avenue, maintaining a side yard of five feet in lieu of six feet as required by the R5 residence district regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance. And Stephanie, I am going to unmute you. Stephanie, you're unmuted to give your presentation. Okay, thank you. And can everybody hear me okay? Yes. Okay, great. Thank you. I'm working off a computer and a phone at the same time. Sorry. Um, yeah, so the way that this house sits, the house itself um, doesn't meet even the six foot um, regulation of the kind of the setback of that. And where the back door is, you cannot put a deck anywhere else because even the back door doesn't even meet the six feet. So there's really just no other place to put a deck. Um, not much of a presentation, but that's all I've got. And there are a couple pictures if y'all have, and I apologize, we moved to Iowa and this was the best I could do. But if you can kind of see in that backyard where that back door sits, the other two areas are 
windows, but yes, that's where the um, stairs and, and deck are located. Yeah. Okay, so are we basically putting the, the uh, stairs and deck in the same place? Uh, yeah, it's a smaller deck, but yes, yes, ma'am. Yep. Okay. And freeze on this uh, back to the letter. Letter. Justin, did you have any questions? No, I don't. Thank you. Oh, it's okay. Is there anyone here in favor or opposition? I'm not seeing anybody. So at this time, I'm going to mute the petitioner. Hearing none, 91 22, I vote to approve the variance as advertised and the hardship just being the need to update the deck and put it in the same spot and it's a little smaller. I'll second that motion. Okay. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Harris. All right. 92-22, Timothy Albin is requesting an exception to allow the construction of a 30-foot by 30-foot detached garage, which will be more than half of the footprint of the home at 7047 Leda Avenue, as required by Section 4 of the R6 Residence District Regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance. And Tim, you are now unmuted to give your presentation. Oh, yes, I need a variance because I'm 146 square feet over for the square footage of my house. Um, there is a shed on the property at the moment that is in really poor shape that is going to be torn down. Um, I just uh, haven't torn it down because I need to keep my equipment and everything uh, dry at, you know, in, in this time of year with the weather. Um, I am having a uh, asphalt driveway put in from Premier Asphalt, um, and you know I have a concrete company lined up. I just need to move forward. Do you have any questions? I mean, is it, is the that you said the sheds coming down in the future is that what <laughs> triggering the variance, or is it that the overall size of the new structure will still exceed the half of the house? Yeah, it's it's the variance is far because the square footage of the building is bigger okay. by by one hundred forty six square feet. Is there a reason you need the 146 square feet? Uh, yeah, for all the equipment I have, I really need the space because I have my original shed is full and my one car garage is full of all my stuff. So I, I really need the extra space. Tim, how do you plan on uh well let's see what do you plan on doing about the fire hydrant have you talked to the fire department about that because your your uh driveway is going to affect that well my street is actually a, a dead end street mm -hmm. uh, so where the driveway is going to be is 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 it going to affect it from what it is now they'll they'd still be able to back right up to it you know, or pull down to it because my driveway will be in the side of my yard right there going down the side of the house to the building. Yeah. And do you realize you need a special use permit from the uh, county department of transportation for that second driveway? Yes, that you know, I saw that on notes that they had sent me that I'd have to get that special permit for the driveway. Okay, you may want to do that uh, soon because it takes a while to get and your variance may run out if you you know if they you don't get it within six months okay yeah 
because I mean the the you know the concrete company said they can't do any. Or I'm not the concrete, but the asphalt companies said they won't they won't be able to pour until the spring anyway because of the temperatures right now. Okay. All right. I mean, my old shed, it was, the, you know, it was there when I bought it and it, it wasn't built to code and it's in terrible shape and it's ready to fall down and I, I need to get rid of it. Is it possible for you to um, uh, demolish the old shed and build the other one in its place? Uh I could, but they might have nowhere to store all my equipment that I have in there. Justin, do you have any more questions? I'm also assuming that you're not running a business. You say all this equipment, you sign documents that state you're not running a business. Yes, that is correct. I'm not running a business. It's just, uh, you know, my my lawnmower and zero turn. I have a lot of uh, farming equipment for down in the country, log splitters, cedars, and you know, just you know, just you know, just all kinds of farming equipment that I take down to the farm and back. He does have two letters here from uh, neighbors stating they have no opposition. Yeah, my third neighbor is Bosnia and he don't speak English. I kind of talked to him about it and he said he didn't have a problem with it either, but he, he doesn't even write English. He, Tim has noted on his plan that he the shed is to be removed. You could also put that under the conditions if you'd like. Yeah, I don't have any further questions at this time. Is there anyone here in favor or opposition? I'm not seeing any hands, so at this time I'm going to mute the petitioner. They're muted. This is 93? 92. 92. 92. Uh, regarding 92 22, I recommend approval of the requested variance as advertised with a condition that. Um, that the shed will be removed prior to the final occupancy of the structure. Does that work? Yes. I second it. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, none opposed. 93-22 EMK Investments is requesting an exception to the front yard regulations for the purpose of constructing a deck at 735 Dammer Avenue, maintaining a front yard of 8 feet in lieu of 20 feet as required by the R5 Residence District Regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance. All right, and EMK, you are unmuted. Thank you. Uh, I want to first say thank you guys uh, for your time. Um, I am uh, all, all I'm trying to do, I guess, with the front Sir, desk. Could you state your name for the record? Oh, Elvira Kolovich. Thank you. Um, and what I'm trying to do is just, it's not really even really a, a full deck like that you'll sit on. It's more just to beautify the front of the house. Um, and, but being that it is a structure like that, it would, it would count as a deck um, and because of the eight feet setback, I think it's really like a six feet, six foot setback. Um, the the lady at the county, because I'm, I'm obviously very terrible at this, told me that I would have to apply for a variance. There it is right there. So has it already been built? Yes, ma'am. New structure, okay. I was not aware, um, and 
that sounds like cop out, but I, I was not aware of half of the stuff that I went through, and this has been a learning experience like no other. And uh, so, did you replace an old deck in that spot? Uh, no, no, ma'am. Oh, so you just created a deck for it? Yeah. Okay. It was so. The, so if you look at that picture right there, um, the stuff that it's on is a concrete pad right there, and we just added the wood around it in the post. Okay, so it used to just be concrete stairs going down to the yes, uh, way. Okay. Yes, but it, I think it really adds curb appeal and makes the house look nicer. The neighborhood looks nicer, and uh, that's my reason for asking for variance. I think if you look at the, the plan, uh, most of the homes on this street don't meet the front yard setback themselves. Correct. Like um, hey, Mel, I think at one point we talked about this, but in, didn't you guys say you found like a regulation that they could average the fronts? This doesn't meet that. We've never been um, very adept at, at utilizing that provision um so i we didn't look at it okay for this right. request no problem it's really like a front porch yeah, yeah. I mean, all all of them probably had some type of stoop to begin with of course you have handrails where there were handrails probably so Have any questions? Uh, no, I'm good. Thanks. Okay. Is there anyone here in favor or opposition? I'm not seeing any hands. So at this time, I'm going to mute the petitioner. 93-22. I want to um, go ahead and motion to uh, approve the variance as advertised. Uh, the hardship just being just the need for, um, I think the banisters and the, and the deck has more uh, how can I put it? Uh, accessibility and support um, to walking into the front entrance. I'll second that. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 94-22 Melanie Tucci is requesting an exempt an exception to the parking regulations for the purpose of enclosing an existing garage which will eliminate the required parking space behind the building line at 9524 Muriel Avenue as required by the NU non-urban district regulations and section 1003.165 off-street parking and loading requirements of the St. Louis County zoning ordinance. And then Melanie, you are unmuted to give your presentation. Okay, thank you. My name is Melanie Tucci and my property there on Muriel has a tuck under garage. And the garage is actually too small to fit a car because of the location of the plumbing stack in the basement. So even a small car can't fit and I'm I'm fairly certain that nobody has ever parked a car in that tuck under garage just because a vehicle doesn't fit there. So I am requesting to remove the garage door and build a wall with an exterior door. So there will still be parking uh, in the driveway just like there is now. I have no questions. Have any questions? Um, is there anyone here in favor or opposition? I don't see anybody. So at this time, I'll mute the petitioner. You're good. All right. Sorry, I lost my place again. Is this 93 or 4? 94. 94. 94. <laughs> All right, in the case of uh, uh, 94-22, based on the existing conditions of the house uh, and the size of the uh, garage, I recommend approval. 
And I second it. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. Motion carries. 95-22 Melville School District is requesting an exception to the off-street parking requirements for the purpose of allowing the deletion of required bicycle parking at 6399 Hagman Road, Hagman Elementary School, as required by the NU Non-Urban District Regulations and Section 1003.165 Off-Street Parking and Loading Requirements of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance. And Keith... You are unmuted to give the presentation. Thank you. My name is Keith Fryer with Clayton Engineering Company. Uh, on behalf of the Melville School District, uh, we are, well, I'd like to give a kind of a backstory. The school district prefers not to have bicycle parking on any of the elementary school locations. Uh, so as we go through a process of, uh, you know, doing a, parking lot improvement to the site or a building improvement. Uh, we have to go through this process of uh, trying to get the exemption for bicycle parking for each location. Uh, so this is one for Hickam and elementary school. Uh, what we, the site currently does not have bicycle parking um, and they discourage the use of bicycles, uh, namely because of the amount of bus routing traffic and parent drop off. Uh, areas, it gets pretty hectic at times, and they're just concerned for the schools, for the children's safety. A um, couple other points to kind of add to this, the Hegeman Road does not have sidewalks on both sides along the street. Uh, there are There is sidewalks along our frontage, but the children have to cross at a crosswalk, um, which would kind of force them to, you know, kind of run across on a bike and uh, further kind of complicate the issue uh, as they ride in through. You know, as you're riding a bike, you're kind of coming in through the site uh, more quickly than you would if you were walking. Um, and it just kind of creates a situation where, you know, people, if they're dropping off their kids, uh, you know, may not see them as quickly and react as quickly. Uh, so we would like to apply for the exemption to not have bicycle parking at this project. Thank you. Uh, Justin, do you have any questions? Um, I guess not really. I mean, I, I understand where they're coming from, but I also, you know, these neighborhood schools seem to have a, a place that, you know, could, could benefit from having kids ride their bikes, but I, I understand and I, I know where Hegeman Road is and it's, you know, street that moves traffic pretty quickly. So I understand their concern. Well, okay. Is there anyone here in favor or opposition? I, this time I'm going to mute the petitioner. Okay. 95-22, I move to approve the variance as advertised. The hardship just being the need to increase public safety for the children. Um, and that's it. I'll second that. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. All right. Thanks. And the petitioner for 90-22 has still not arrived on the call. So I'll leave that up to you guys. Okay. So I move that 90-22 be continued to next time. I will second that. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Harris. All right. And that's all I had for you guys. So if you just want to adjourn. Oh, okay. I'll make a motion to adjourn the BZA meeting of November 2nd, 2022. I second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, guys. Okay. And uh, just so everyone knows, the November 16th meeting has been canceled. Okay. So we'll meet right. on the 30th. All right. Okay. 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 Debbie, you've got a nice sunbeam coming through when you lean towards oh. your mother like that. <laughs> oh, I do. Yeah.